All right. So I haven't actually watched the full playback yet, so I figured I might as well do it with a little bit of commentary. So this run turned out to be really, really good. Um, for anyone who hasn't seen it, I, you know, I'll try not to say anything un until it comes along. This run was done on actually um, Friday the 13th, oddly enough. Gave us hopes. Came crashing down. So uh, this game's full of, you know, awesome jumps. So I don't think the RNG in World 1 went uh, perfectly. As you can see, we just got a movement of 1. Um, and for anyone who doesn't know this game, you want to try and get as many small movements with the Hammer Brothers as possible. But uh, while speedrunning, you can't really let those movements dictate anything. I mean, definitely pay attention to the movements. They'll let you know if like you know, um, they'll let you know if you need to do like super crazy strats or something. Like if you enter a world and you get like so many movements of two, you're like, okay, I gotta do a couple strats that are a lot harder, you know, to save a little bit more time. And I think the fort went okay. You always watch your P meter here. No, nope, I hit that wall. Um, so as you can see, I'm behind the record right now. But when it comes to the movements with the Hammer Brother, it doesn't mean anything. And the world record actually gets, I think, four movements of two and one movement of one in this world. So nothing, uh, nothing overly special with that. Did we get the tunnel? Did we get the tunnel? We did. Wow. Right on. So that's almost that's almost world one done. Yeah, I gotta drink the sodi pop. Gotta take a little, yeah, look at that. Taking little sippies. So as I just got the movement of one there, I'm saving 0.5 every time, which is just amazing. And then uh, you get your early P speed here, pop a jump, good to go. Good to go. Did we get the flower here? Yes, okay. So getting the flower there, this level has like a high percentage rate of giving you a flower and world two level one. But if you get a flower there, now I don't have to do a turn back uh, to get any other card. Um, technically all the way until 2, 4, or 5, or Pyramid. No, no, 2, 4, or 5, if you wanted to stretch it as much as you can. All right, so we're at boring stages here. No, got to do a stretch because it's boring as heck. I think I'm. I think I was already at like uh, hour four so far uh, that morning. So my fingers were starting to get a little annoyed of the world one grind. Um, lately, I've been just doing the runs depending on how they how they go in world two. You know, if I if I don't have an okay world one, I'm just gonna go right away and do. Uh, early hammer strats, but if I can if I can tell that I'm ahead of the world record by a couple seconds, you know, before early hammer, and I get some weird movements that kind of tell me that I'm not really going to get it, then I won't go for early hammer. And that's the beauty of knowing the hammer brother patterns. As you're watching and playing, you could kind of just, you know, feel it out a little bit and see. There we go. So, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's. 0.11 of a time save. So not much of a time save there. As you can see, I'm looking at my thumbs and in pain. Um, yeah, so that's World 1. World 1 went fairly well. I'll have you guys know all the way until the end of this uh, run, we don't get any red splits. So that should be very exciting. If you heard that beeping, my dryer is finished. That is amazing. This is a complete raw recording. I'm just re-watching my run, and I'm talking about it as I'm going along. Um, so I kept the sound out of this uh, strictly just for me to, you know, talk over it and uh, try and keep talking the entire time. And um, So you, the reason I'm saying that is so that um, you know you can't hear the Hammer Brother movements, which sucks because that is the best part, but whatever. It's, it's no big deal. Um, so right there, when the hammer brother did that movement, I was like, nope, nope, no good early hammer can happen. I'm ahead of the world record. I'm ahead of my run. I'm just going to do normal, you know, keep the fire flower strats, um, and everything should be fine. Little do I know though, that the hammer brother with the hammer, uh, moved up one space from his starting space. 
And uh, remember I mentioned the, the last level in World 1 and the first level in World 2 have a high percentage rate for flowers. As you can see, I got two flowers without even having to turn back. The Hammer Brother moved in between level 3 and the Sun level. That's really good. That actually lines up for the chance of getting a No Death Early Hammer. But I didn't think I would get it. You know, I didn't think... It's such a weird position for you to get Early Hammer like that. I've never even gotten an Early Hammer the way uh, it's positioned like that. Certainly not a No Death Early Hammer. Um... I gained a lot of time on the world record in this fort because I got the uh, early P speed, which is uh, very beautiful. We'll finish off with a little fire kill here. So this is where the magic happens. Uh, both Hammer Brothers go to the same space in between the Mushroom House in level 4 and above the Sun level. They both wanted that space, so they got stuck. So now they started to move around, but they decided to come straight across level 3, which is so abnormal because normally they like to marathon around the map and then they come over to say hi, but this time, no, right away, which uh, actually ends up being the fastest early hammer I've ever gotten. It, it could have been faster if I guessed correctly. Um, getting that music box isn't a big deal. Trust me, I saved so much time with this early hammer that getting that music box can only help me later in the run. So now we do the pyramid, and luckily I've been you know, messing around, making sure I, I'm comfortable with keeping Fire Flower for all of uh, World 2, which is fairly new to me. I never actually really did this strat all that much, so it kind of worked out, right? I mean, if you get a No Death Early Hammer, if I'm small Mario, I have to do the, the new weird pyramid strats, so luckily I, I didn't have to do this. So as you can see in the world record video right now, how, how far ahead I am, and normally when I use a hammer in World 2, I don't get to use that hammer in world four, which is what the world record run's gonna do, um, but I can't, so I have to do an extra level. But you can clearly see in the video that the world record is behind by two levels and a hammer brother. So the one extra level I'm gonna do in world four is only gonna, you know, at most take up 25 to 30 seconds. I and mean, I'm being super generous. I'm being hard on myself by, but you know, saying oh, I can't be ahead that much. You know, the reality of it is only like 23 seconds, but. So I'm, you know, I'm already a quarter of the way done the, the airship and world records just starting the pyramid. So um, for me, you can see in my face, I'm actually really nervous for this run because I just got back into running Warpless again. And after one week, I got this no death early hammer and it's the, the, the fastest World 2 split I had ever done. Um, it's unlikely to get a 330 in World 1 and then bust out a very fast World 2. So the fastest I had ever done World 2 was uh, 8 minutes, and I, if I recall, 8 minutes and 19 seconds, and that was also a, a no-death early hammer. This one was, I think, let's see, I think it was 817. Yeah, 817. That's why that was a gold for Early Hammer. And as you can see, I'm pretty excited for that. So now, now we're now we're getting pretty nervous. We're getting pretty nervous. Um World 3 is really really bad because it has the potential to screw you over. So, lots of people ask me like why do you reset randomly in World 3? So, there's the bridges in World 3. Let's see if I can get my mouse cursor actually up on this thing. Right there, yeah. So these bridges right here up at the top, they open and close after every level. So this level, they're closed. Whenever I beat this level, they'll be open, okay? Now, World 3 has the perfect amount of levels in Hammer Brothers that you can go through without skipping any levels in the, in the intended path and do both the Hammer Brothers and that's just the right amount of levels to cloud over the auto scroller and go straight to level eight, then do nine, then beat the world. But if the Hammer Brother crosses over the moving level, then that's one less level we do, which means the bridge will be open. So look at the bridge, it's open now. Now after I finish this level, it'll be closed. Uh, luckily we got the P-Speed strat here, it's very difficult. Um, what makes this level so impressive with P-Speed is that you can build your P-Speed faster or slower at the start, and depending on how quickly or slowly you build it will determine where that first cheap cheap is that you land. So you have to know, 
Oh, did I build my P speed fast? Yes. So jump earlier. So the hammer brother, look at that. He's right on that corner at the top right. That's bad. We got a solid 3-3. Three, three. We're looking at the coin count right now because we don't want a coin ship. We don't want to have 33 coins and get a 3 on the tens digit of our score. So we collect enough coins, 37. Clear. We keep our P speed out of it. Very nice. If you look at the world record video, you can see I'm still two levels ahead, which is disgusting. Okay, that, look at that. The Hammer Brother went across. I'm so sad right now. That's Normally when something like that happens, it really, I don't know, d disgruntles a person. It it makes you, you sad. And then it starts altering your ability to play. Because you, you start overthinking it. You're like, you know, I really wanted this run to work. I cannot believe this. Like, you, you know, just give it to me one time. So and, and it starts affecting your gameplay. But I ignored it. I was like, no, we'll get. And then look at that. I'm glad I didn't let it bug me, okay? So all I need to do is have the Hammer Brother that's by the, the, the place where he goes over. I just need to make sure he doesn't go back over there. They can do whatever movement they want, just not that one movement, right? As long as they do that, I can collect the Hammer Brothers. You know, everything's okay. So hopefully, hopefully we get lucky, and then there it is. I got it, and then I move up. See that? I used the skipping technique so that I can make sure I killed the Hammer Brother up top first. And if uh, if the audio was running, you'd hear me screaming out yes, because that's just... I'm so happy. And then he came up. Another little time save there. Little movement of one. Quick Hammer Brother battle. They both were, were lower on the, on the screen. The chest won't appear until everything's off the screen. So the bridge is perfectly just like that, and I'm ready to go. So, not only is this a one death early hammer, but in world three, I executed every level very well. Not many mistakes. I don't even think I bumped on the overworld map. Um, I got a, a good hammer brother battle where both the hammer brothers were near the bottom. I didn't get a water battle, and I got a very good, decent amount of movements of one. So, you can see I got that stupid look on my face like, haha, I made it out of world three. You know, you, you got to give yourself a pat on the back for uh, making it out of World 3 on world record pace. That's always, you know, it's a, it's completely out of your control, too. It's not even rewarding. You just, you, you, you tell yourself, thank you, game, for letting me, you know, progress. So, luckily, luckily I was on par with that. We made it work, and that was it. I got the, the last H jump. Look at, yeah, wipe the sweat off. Keep going, man. Keep going. So and here we go. We're, st we're still this far ahead, as you can see, two levels. And I have the extra music box, too, to make sure I don't get screwed over by Hammer Brother RNG, right? I mean, I can get the, the cloud, or sorry, I can get the P-Wing in World 4 if I wanted, then put them to sleep, you know? Or I could just put them to sleep in World 4, skip them, you know, get the P-Wing in World 5. And if he's in my way, put him to sleep. If not, awesome. Maybe I can skip the one in the clouds. So that's what that music box is good for. Yeah, we'll get the combo there, and that's always good. Oh, right on. So we just got to get through this airship, make our way to World 4. Now, I I have always been known to do a slower strategy in World 4 Level 1. Uh, I always grab the shell and uh, collide the green shell with the red shell to build my P-Speed. But ever since I've come back to speedrunning this, I've been working on the... Um, the strat where I don't use the shell. You do a couple turnbacks to manipulate your P meter bar, and you know it just works every time. It's very nice. Um, but I haven't done it. I haven't gotten to the point where I'm doing it on every single run. So I've told myself I'll do it on the mediocre runs. I'll test the P speed because I can still screw it up. But on the really important runs, I will do my uh, pleb strats with the shell. It's uh, it's about one second slower. So if you look at that, I got a nice. Nice chunky green there. That was really good. So I saved time. What I saved about four seconds, which is <laughs> on a note after early hammer. Um, I can't quite remember exactly what I'm explaining there, but we don't care. We got the better, the better talkings now. Okay, thank you, weird twin of Mario, who is the same color as his chair. 
Okay, so we got that music box. Now we have two music boxes, right? We don't need the music box in the clouds in World 5, but we have to get really lucky. So I'm pretty sure I do uh, the shell strats here. Yeah, yeah, I do, definitely. I'm, I'm way too scared. I'm not testing my strats. If I lose my Fire Flower here, that's... I don't have it for the Fortress. Uh, I can't build P-Speed in the second Fortress. It's just... It's just altogether a bad time. So that worked out well. So ju just judging by sight, we can actually tell what Hammer Brother movements we got in World 4. And it's looking like a movement of 2. Yep. Which is good. Movements of 2 are fine in World 4. That's fine. Okay. We do the despawn strap by killing him, grabbing the, grabbing the grab block, and we're good to go. So as you can see, we're even further ahead of World Record now. We did World 3 faster than the world record so we save time on the world record we're not just two levels ahead anymore we're two levels and a little bit which is very nice as you can see i'm already look at this i'm already entering the third level um look at that so very interesting there we go this is probably the most fun level in mario 3 it's it's the most fun for me i mentioned on stream uh, last week how I've been doing it for many years and it, you know it's I it still has the same amount of fun for me it's it hasn't changed it's really fun it just looks cool too it's a really cool level okay we get it Mitch Fowler yes YouTube <laughs> so I don't have the hammer here remember so now I have to do this fortress which is probably the scariest fortress because you don't want to do it slow you don't want your early hammer to waste you time you want it to save you time. So we'll just do the swaggy strats like that, making it look all pretty. There we go. We got the nice kill. That's good. That's good. This run, actually, this run seems a little bit better than I had remembered. Okay, so the Hammer Brothers had switched, so that scared me a little bit. Because uh, I can still get screwed over by Hammer Bro RNG. Just because I have the music box doesn't mean... You know, things can go perfectly. They'll, they'll still screw me over. Nice. We got the P-Speed strat in this level. That's good. Yep. The little mega swim there. <laughs> right on. Look at that. 282 is the normal as long as you do top tier strats. 282 is pretty... Ah, spooky bats. Yeah. Right on. So, let, let's see. I think the Hammer Brothers switch here and I use the screen. Yeah, I use the screen. Yeah, there we go. I almost screwed up there. I pressed B, I thought for some reason I would just enter it right away. So I got the cloud, and the Hammer Brothers did a movement. Yeah, that movement means that I can put them to sleep, and I don't have to worry about them at all. That's it. Because they're too far away to get in my way after Fortress 2. So we're going to go for uh, de-lagging strats by killing... Th uh, we didn't get it. If I kill that Piranha Plant at that exact spot, it gets rid of a lot of lag in the level but not enough to overthink like even right now i'm not even i'm I'm over it I'm, I'm past that so i do this new little strat i came up with right there i jump into the stair there and for some reason it just lets me get my p speed and i don't have to worry about doing an, uh, an improper jump on the stairs everything seems fine i think this is my only screw up in the world yeah that cost me a you know point something but other than that Okay, so because everything worked out and I got a lot of movements of one in uh, in World 4, this actually becomes the, the best World 4 that has ever been made in uh, Mario 3. And I'm that's not even a humble brag. That's just, you know, me and some other people have been speedrunning this for years and have never seen a human achieve... Uh, what happens here and at this point on the airship I have no idea I'm not I'm not really paying attention my my brain is so clustered I, I look over at chat and just the the dumbest things are going to make me smile and laugh because my my nerves are just so on edge um, I'm making sure I don't have uh, double digit coins so you know I got my 56 things are good oh man and this is like the longest auto scroller ever so it's just you know, I'm thinking about, okay, I'm going to get this pattern uh, for the boss. I got to make sure I execute, you know, my fire flowers. Everything will be okay. As long as, as long as this all works out, I think everything will be fine. And uh, 
So normally we just stand here, shoot some guys. There's honestly not much to really refer to in uh, this airship. It's just so unbelievably boring. Even as a speedrunner, you know, most people think, oh, this is a long auto scroller. You know, you get a little break, but you you don't want a two and a half minute break in a speed run because it can actually like shut you down a little bit. That's why you see a lot of speedrunners in cutscenes that are, you know, long or uh, long periods of time where they have to wait. They're always moving and fidgeting and shooting stuff and jumping. And, you know, you got to keep yourself fresh and on top. You don't want to have a cool down, you know, so. And there's all, all, all these little things in these auto scrollers that you can invent yourself to keep yourself busy, little strats or fun things to do. You know, everyone does it. So uh, here I got to do the double shot. Jump, double shot, jump, double shot, then jump on him, then then spam him. Jump, double shot, jump, double shot, spam him. Okay, so this is going to clock into a 2053 for World 4. And as you can see, like, I am just unbelievably shocked. I saved time in that world when I was supposed to lose time because I did an extra level. Now, I'm pretty sure these splits have early hammer in it, but the amount of time I saved was just, it was just dumb. So that was the first time I had ever gotten a sub 21 minute uh, World 4. It's just um, unbelievable. If I had gotten a one death early hammer, I wouldn't have got that time. Because I, I only managed to get under 21 minutes by 7 seconds. And a death for early hammer is about 10 to 11. So this is where I'm starting to kind of lose... Um, I don't know. It's 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 like momentum, right? I'm I'm starting to get tired a little bit. My nerves are shot. My heart rate's going, and I mean, unfortunately, I'm only 21 minutes in. I should be able to go much longer, but I mean, it's just it's so stressful that, and there's so much more ahead of me. But luckily, we pull through. You know, we pay attention to some of the some of the strats here. We get the little slidey strats, cute Mario with this kicking, you know, get, there's so many things that can go wrong. So, um, I lost a little time on the first level, actually going up the stairs. I jumped into the corner of a block. It kind of stopped me. So lost a little bit of time. So the hammer brothers switch there. That made me a little upset because, you know, even though I have the music box, yeah. Okay. I can put them to sleep. You know, I can get the. I get the P-Wing, you know, put them to sleep, but they switch in a position where I can't get the P-Wing. Even if I put them to sleep, you know, I can't. there's no levels behind them. I got to get the, I got to take the Twisty Castle and go to the sky. And so I'm hoping that they switch back here because if they switch back, I can get the P-Wing. If they don't, I can't get the P-Wing and I'm in big trouble. And sure enough, they didn't. So I had to quickly react put them to sleep and that's what makes warpless really difficult right i didn't know i had to do what i just did until i got there so whenever you you know, press start and start an attempt for warpless it's not like you have everything planned out and that's what makes mario 3 such a crazy speed run i had to think of that on the fly and right now the only thing i'm thinking about is how i'm going to prepare for not having that p-wing so by me skipping that p-wing I don't have a P-Wing for World 6 Level 9 where you just fly to the top and skip it. Luckily, I have a strategy that will end up being faster than that, but I haven't been able to even try it in a run. None, like, but now I'm on a, a no-death early hammer run? That's way too stressful. Not only is this the first time I get to actually try it in a run, but it's got to depend. So... But aside from that, I figured out what I was going to do during the twisty castle. I got it all sorted out. So now my head's back into the run. Now I've gotten over it and just come to terms with what it is that I have to do. I got 67 coins there, which is nice. I'm able to skip coin ship. I don't have to worry about that. So now we got two of the most annoying levels. The world record hammer brother went in there as well. So I'm not too worried about it. And then, of course, I didn't get my P-speed there. I've had so many runs last week get to World 5 and get to this level, and I hadn't screwed up P-Speed, but I did in this run, which at this point, I'm just saying to myself, you know what, like, I didn't lose Fire Flower, I'm, you know, of course I'm going to lose P-Speed or not, I'm not going to do every level perfect at, at this point, but the one level I was more, most concerned on was this one, this level's been driving me crazy, 
you know as soon as i bounced off that guy right there i was so happy because i knew i did it i was just telling myself get out get out of there okay so kept my p speed avoiding 77 coins so i don't have to get coin i mean i wouldn't have got a coin ship but it's always good to avoid it so now that i'm at this fortress and the hammer brother's still by the castle he's stuck there now so i have to adhere to a boss pattern where I'm one space away, which is really good, actually. Uh, that ensures a, a good boss pattern. So, um, the only level that didn't really work in this run was, or in this world, was the level 5. 5-5. Five, five. And the world record didn't get P-Speed, so I didn't lose time on world record. I just lost time on uh, like my ability, I guess. Just my skill. I lost time on my my own run. As you can see, we're getting a, a lot of follows here. People are super stoked about this run so far. It's just, it's honestly a disgusting uh, pace. Like I said, world record, warpless, world four, and uh, a pretty chunky world five at this point. It's really, really, really nice. So we ended off with a couple movements of two. Luckily, we know where our items are in our inventory. I got a quick pattern. That's pretty good. And I get to go straight from this one space right to the castle, ensuring I get a good boss pattern. So yeah, I don't have to worry about that. So that World 5 ended up pretty good. Now, you're going to see a time save in World 5, um, which if, if I did World 6 correctly the way I wanted to, this wouldn't be false time save. But unfortunately, this is not the most accurate time save. Um, but that's neither here nor there. That doesn't matter at this point. We're just trying to get it as far as we can. Sorry, I was just looking at the world record run too. So this whole time, we've managed to keep up um, being two levels ahead. After world four, um, that's when you know how much time early hammer saves. Early hammer only affects you from world two Till world four and then anything after world four that's that's it it's the, the whole early hammer time save time lost is concluded uh once you split in world four you get to see so you know however far ahead i am right now i mean that's how far ahead i'm i'm ahead of the world records so you know had this run friggin got to world eight and got no hands and i mean i can still save 20 20 of my own seconds in in world eight because i got one hand in my pb so yeah, this is a gold 27, you know, blah, 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 40, whatever, not fully accurate, but it could have been. The only reason it's not accurate is because uh, it was a failed run. If it would have succeeded and I would have done my fire flower strats and skipped the P-Wing, it would have been fine. It would have turned out actually a little bit quicker. So this is where life likes to kick you. Not when you're down. Oh, no, no no so we're doing great we're hoping you know we'll go fight this because like i'm on a home stretch now world seven's a joke and then world eight's just rng so the hammer brother on the far right is the hammer brother with the cloud and unfortunately i accidentally used a star there which is really bad really really bad okay so the hammer brother with the cloud moved to the right which is dope. We know where he is. We can see what's going on. Okay. So far, RNG has been mediocre when it comes to Hammer Brothers this run. You know, the the one death early hammer, or sorry, the zero death early hammer, obviously the best component of RNG, but, you know, there's still so much more. And the Hammer Brothers have been okay. They kind of screwed me over in World 5 a bit by causing... I believe that if I would have got the P-Wing in World 5, all of this crap wouldn't have happened. And that's how much the Hammer Brother RNG can affect you. So here, this is where... Here, this is where things go really bad. That long movement. So I lost probably about five seconds there. I haven't actually timed it. I'm just guessing. And I'm probably being a little bit generous. It was probably like three or four, you know. I'll just say five, ten, you know, thirty seconds I just lost. <laughs> um, but that right there isn't even about the five seconds lost. That is... I don't know which one the cloud is anymore. 
I can't get the extra hammer brother. I don't need it. I don't need the extra hammer brother. It's just a star. But at this point, I have no idea which one is the one with the cloud, and that's all I want. So, um, as a speedrunner, the most logical thing to do at this point is to clearly just go for the faster one. You know? That makes sense, right? Obviously, I'm going to go for the faster hammer brother. Okay? And that's... That the faster one actually moves closest to the block I need to break with the hammer. So I'm trying to secure my last cloud. And look at that, he moved all the way to the left. Clearly, I'm gonna go over here the fastest way, you know, try and do the most optimal run, right? But I was I was wrong, which is annoying. See, I'm I'm very frustrated because now I have to go back to the left, I have to screen scroll, then I have to fight an extra hammer brother. And the biggest mistake happened doing that. I lost my tail, which means I can't do the second fortress very quickly now. So I'm just losing all this time. Extra hammer, brother, 11 seconds, screen scrolling, back tracing on the map. It's another four or five seconds. Uh, I don't have my feather in here. I Look at this. I try and grab it, right? And like, just get in there, man. You know, just get your P speed. Yeah, get out of there, you know? So I'm just losing all this time. And it's just, it's not even needed time, you know? So I, I did it. I got the tail. You know, you can clearly see I'm still f far ahead of the world record. So nothing nothing to hugely panic over. But these are just mistakes that you look at and you just say to yourself, no. You know, who does that? These aren't normal mistakes. If I didn't have to fight the extra hammer, brother, you know, this wouldn't be a problem. Now I'm only like three quarters of a level ahead. So now I have to do these weird new strats. I got the extra star hammer, brother, so I can use the star here. Okay. I've practiced these before, you know, give them a try. So you build your P speed here and you want to keep your, and I, you know, I, I need that grab block, but whatever. The, the objective is to keep your tail here. That's what you want to do. Now, if this strat's done correctly, it, it's close to, it's close to one second slower. It's not even one second slower than, than what you're going to see, like in the world record. And then what you do is level 10 instead and grab Fire Flower. But there's a strat to keep your P-Speed in level 10. But for some reason, I didn't even build it. And that's not good. So I am just going incredibly slow here. Um, but with that being said, um, this is where I end the run. Um, the reason I end the run there is because there's nothing, there's nothing special, you know, happening after that. Like, nothing... Nothing impressive goes on. Um, that's where the run just fell apart. I lost my fire flower on the airship. World 7 was a waste. I was I was just having a bad time. And, you know, that's that's the end of that awesome run. I mean, it was good while it was lasted. I mean, we had a lot of strats, a lot of fun. I'm, I'm glad to be uploading it for everyone to, you know, watch and look. But, you know, this is easily by far the best warpless run that was ever made. And I'm not even talking about... Um, RNG either just just skill alone all le all the levels went amazing and then world six was just like nope nope you're not having it so uh with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed um this little commentary play by play this is the first one i've ever done um but yeah if you liked what you saw you know hit that subscribe button you know i'll upload some more videos for you just so you guys can you know have a good time watching stuff but uh thanks for watching guys take it easy See ya.